Hey kids, it's Mr. Stucky, the school bus safety guy. And this is... Mr. Stucky's school bus safety! Today we have a really fun topic, because today we're going to learn all about... School buses. So let me ask you, what do you know about school buses? What do I know about school buses? Hmm. They're big. So I'm being around you. Hmm. They're yellow. And I'm on each of They take us to school and back home safely every day. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good start. School buses are big, but can you guess just how big a school bus is? Oh, uh, like, you like that? 13 feet long? Maybe as big as an alligator. 20 inches high and about 50 long. Hey, Mr. Sucky, we don't know how big a school bus is. You tell us. Yeah, you're a grown up. You tell us. Okay. School buses, just like kids, come in many shapes and sizes. There are full size buses, mid sized buses, and mini buses. But let's focus on the bigger buses. Now, would it surprise you to know that a big, full-size bus is approximately the same length as a Tyrannosaurus Rex? And even though they are the same length, a T-Rex is two times as tall as a school bus. Why, you'd have to put two buses on top of each other just to be as tall as a T-Rex. Wow, I didn't know T-Rexes are cool. T-Rexes are lit. T-Rexes are bomb. I love T-Rexes with their little arms. Roar! 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 <laughs> How did the T-Rex dab with those tiny little arms? Or hit the whip. Wait a second. I don't know how big a school bus is. I don't even know how big a T Rex is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Message received. So let's ask somebody really smart. Let's ask Professor Shamardi Pants. Hello, students. So you want to know how big the average school bus is? Well, you came to the right place because Professor Ludwig von Schmarty Pants is ready to break off some straight-up knowledge for you. Yes, indeedy. Now, the average school bus is 36 feet long and 8 feet wide by the 10 feet high, which makes the average school bus 2,880 cubic feet of yellow awesomeness. And how do we know that? Math, it's our friend. Okay, so we have determined that school buses are big. T-Rex big. But do you know how much a school bus weighs? 50 pounds? 
55,000 pounds. 100 pounds. There is pounds? Does it weigh as much as a T-Rex? <laughs> well, not quite. A T-Rex weighs about 8 tons, but your average school bus weighs over 11 tons. 11 tons? Far out, man! That's like really heavy, man! Like, school buses are heavier than T-Rexes, man! Like, far out! That's way groovy, man! Get it? Way groovy? <laughs> Stop! Enough about T-Rexes already! Yeah! Tell us what else a school bus is heavier than! I'd be happy to! Buses are slightly heavier than an African bull elephant, which weighs just a little over 7 tons. I love elephants! <laughs> And this is amazing. Did you know that a baby blue whale weighs almost as much as an average school bus? And it's just a little baby. Wait a minute. What's that sound? I know that sound. No. 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 We interrupt this video for a breaking news live update. Now here's School Bus News for Kids news anchor, Georgia Zlopko. We interrupt this video with some breaking news. Here's our on-the-scene reporter, Ruby Zlepko. Thank you, Georgia. We've asked bus drivers all across the nation what is the second most question they get asked. And here's what we learned. Why are school buses yellow? Why are school buses yellow? Why are school buses yellow? Why, Why are school, school buses, buses yellow? yellow? Ruby, I'm sorry to cut you off, but we just received news that school bus safety expert, Mr. Pat Stuckey, is going to address this very important question. No comment. No comment. Huh? You do deserve a better answer. So, in order to find out why school buses are yellow, let's once again ask Professor Smarty Pants. Well, hello there again, students. So you want good old Professor Ludwig von Smarty Pants to enlighten you all about why their school buses are yellow? <laughs> well, it's a very interesting story indeedy. You see, it all started 80 years ago in 1939. That is when my dear old colleague, Dr. Frank Tabiasia, organized a conference that established the National School Bus Construction Standards. This included the standard color of yellow for the school bus. It became known officially as the National School Bus Chrome. Now this color was selected because black lettering on that hue was easiest to see. 
under color yellow was also chosen because it attracts attention and is noticed quickly in the peripheral vision. I know, that's a tongue twister for your eyeballs. When driving, you use your sight to gather information that is around you, but you can also see things on the edge of your view. This outer range is known as peripheral vision. It allows you to sense when something is there. This lets you know if you have to take evasive action while driving. Oh, I get it. It's like having extra eyeballs on the side of your head. My mom says that she has eyeballs on the back of her head. Yeah, my mom says that too. All moms say that. Enough about eyeballs. We want to know about school buses. Yeah, we want the facts. Yeah, give us the facts, Jack. Like, how many kids ride school buses? That's a good question. Okay, just the facts. And the fact is, according to the American School Bus Council, also known as the ASBC, school buses transported an average of 26 million elementary and secondary students daily. This is 52 million one-way trips. Approximately 55% of the nation's enrollment travels to and from school on school buses. And the ASBC estimates the average one-way school bus trip at five miles. This means that every day, pupils travel approximately 260 million miles. The wheels on the bus may go round and round, but are school buses good for the environment? And the answer is yes. It's a fact. School buses are good for the health of our planet. It's estimated that nearly 480,000 school buses carry 26 million students to and from school every day of the school year. This means that each school bus eliminates 36 cars on the road, which means there are 36 less cars clogging up traffic and 36 less cars polluting our air. <coughs> School buses aid our community in lowering our carbon footprint, making our planet very, very happy. That's fantastic! Who knew that riding a school bus helps save our planet? That's cool. Very cool. Oh, that's so bomb! We just have one more question. Are school buses safe? Now that's a great question. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the school bus is the safest vehicle on the roadways today. Statistically, a child is much safer taking a bus to school than riding in your car. In fact, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that students are 70 times safer in a school bus. Now here are some sad but very important facts. When there are vehicles and children in close proximity, accidents do occur and sometimes, very sadly, there are fatalities. But the statistics show us that of every 100 sad stories of a child that lost their life in such vehicle and student encounters, only one, just one fatality is school bus related. Even still, one child losing their life is too many. And that is a sad fact. So most of what makes school buses safe is the way that it is operated by the school bus driver. School bus drivers have to go through hours and hours of classroom training, pass school bus driver knowledge tests, and then complete many hours of behind the wheel driver training. They must also demonstrate their ability to safely drive a school bus by passing a driving exam. 
every day before they pick up students, school bus drivers inspect their vehicles to ensure all the safety features are working and in good order. They document every detail, right down to the horn. Now let's talk about the safety design of a school bus. First off, they are big, T-Rex big, and yellow. Big and yellow really matters when it comes to other drivers seeing you and your safety. School buses have flashing lights, stop signs, and crossing arms to alert other drivers when students are loading and unloading. Those black strips on the side of the bus are not just for decoration. They are reinforced steel at critical places to protect your shoulders, your hips, and your feet. And school buses have huge mirrors that allow the bus driver to observe vehicles and students all around the school bus. Now one more thing about school bus safety, it begins with each and every one of you. If you are constantly misbehaving on the school bus, you can distract the driver. And if we are having to keep an eye on you, we can't keep our eye on the road. It only takes a second for an accident to occur. Now, despite all those safety precautions and concerns, there's still one question that haunts all bus drivers. And it's the number one question us bus drivers are asked. We interrupt this video once again for some less than newsworthy breaking news. So here's School Bus News for Kids news anchor again. You know who she is. It's Georgia again. We interrupt this video again for some very important news. Here's our on-the-scene reporter, Ruby Zlepko. Thank you, Georgia. Once again, we've asked bus drivers all across the nation what is the single most question they get asked about school buses. And here's what we learned. Why don't we have seatbelts? Why don't we have seatbelts on a school bus? Why don't school buses have seatbelts? Why, Why don't school buses have seatbelts? Seat We're sorry to interrupt, but we just received news that Mr. Pat Stuckey is finally going to answer the question of why school buses don't have seatbelts. First off, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. At this time, I'd like to read a written prepared statement about school buses and the lack of seat belts. No comment. Are you kidding me? Not again. Not wrong. Again, you're right. You do deserve a better answer. So let's just take a look at a few more facts. It's a fact. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that school buses are the most regulated vehicles on the road, but said seat belts are not required because buses are designed to withstand impact, unlike cars. For example, school buses have energy-absorbing padded seats that are close together. This design is known as compartmentalization. The seats and buses are higher and have more padding and are closer together. These compartmentalized energy absorbing seats restrain students from being ejected, keeping them contained in the event of a head on collision. So the seats in these buses are essentially also acting as huge seat belts themselves. And then there is the concern that a bus may need to be evacuated quickly. We are told it takes up to 5 to 10 seconds to unbuckle a school bus seat belt. Now that might not seem like a very long time, but in an emergency, every second matters. So with all that we've learned, 
Let's try to imagine what a day without the school bus would be like. Your parents would be waking you up earlier to get you off to school. <laughs> Your family will have to spend more time and money at the fuel pump, which means they'll be spending less time and money on you. <laughs> there will be a spike in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Lungs will be breathing in more carbon dioxide. <laughs> so let's look at the benefits of school buses. School buses keep over 17 million cars off the road each year. One school bus carries as many students as 36 cars, saving over 17 million cars from joining the daily commute, saving over 20 million tons of CO2 emissions. <coughs> and because it's the safest method of transportation available, the school bus also saves the lives of hundreds of children each and every year. And of course, school buses are designed to be safer than other vehicles. In fact, the school bus is the safest form of transportation available. School buses have federal and state requirements like flashing red lights, cross view mirrors, stop sign arms and laws designed to protect you. They have protective seating, high crush standards and rollover protection. And school buses have professional qualified drivers. So I hope that clears things up and answers all your questions about school buses. They are indeed the safest and environmentally smartest mode of transportation for students. And they're just plain fun to ride. So until next time, this is Mr. Stucky, the school bus safety guy saying so long and be safe. Tap in. Hmm. Tap, tap, tap in. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really understand, but I fell down this hill. Now I got glue on my hands and I got records on my fingers. I got records on my fingers and I just can't stop.